This place is a few hundred meters from David City, a few hundred meters, same place, where uh, 3,000 years ago, I, I read a book by uh, uh, Barbara Tuckman. The book that I recommend that you read is Bible and Sword. Uh, and in Bible and Sword, she makes an observation that the Jewish people are the only people in the world who live in the same land, speak the same language, have the same capital, and have the same religion as they had with the same name as they had 3,000 years ago. So Jerusalem, Zion, uh, is the, uh, the pulsating heart of our nation. It's where the Jewish kings ruled, where the Jewish prophets preached, and where the people of Israel prayed, and the people of Israel continue to pray. If I forget thee, O Jerusalem, we never forgot. We never forgot. And we came back. Quickly. The fact that we have this long history and this deep attachment to our city, the fact that it's our capital, uh, is a historical uh, and uh, current fact. But it, uh, it's amazing that it wasn't recognized, even though it's in front of everybody's faces. And we have to uh, congratulate President Trump for recognizing overdue, recognizing Jerusalem as Israel's capital and moving the embassy here. What we have today is the, the alliance of those who believe in our great Judeo-Christian tradition. We have no better friends in the world than our Christian friends. And I want to thank each of you for your friendship. And it's no accident that in Israel, that's the only place in the Middle East where Christians are free to practice their faith, complete religious freedom for all, and especially for Christians who are constantly under attack in the Middle East, constantly. You know, at the beginning of the 20th century, the Middle East had 20% of its population was Christian. It's down to four today, including in the city of Bethlehem that used to be predominantly Christian, it's down to 20%. And what we want to do in Israel is to continue to guard the religious freedom of all. And our Christian friends recognize this, and they appreciate that for this reason as well. So thank you. Thank you for your solidarity, always. <laughs>